Be me. Rich doctor with kick-ass mask. Be walking the cathedral to show peasant fags my expertise. Strolling down the street smacking peasants with my awesome doctor beating stick. Life is good dot tapestry. Finally arrive at cathedral. Everyone excited, I, the very talented doctor, am here. I stroll up to the podium. What is it that ails you lowly creatures? I ask in a scary doctor voice. Lady peasant raises her hand. Lady peasant raises her hand. Ah, uh, yes, you. What ails thee, repulsive surf creature? My throat, my lord. It hurts whenever I swallow. Ah, yes. I know exactly what ails thee. Have no fucking idea what the problem is. Time to fucking wing it, dot loot, sweet. Have her come to the front of the room. Nervously stall for time as I search my sweet new doctor bag. Settle on knife. Tell stupid peasant bitch her throat has too much blood in it and it needs to be drained. The audience is loving this shit. Lay her down on a table. Behold! Slice neck open. Oh shit, dot parchment. Blood spurts across the table. Stupid whore is squirming and bleeding everywhere. Finally stops moving and bleeding. I turn around and bow. Fucking nailed it. They ask if she's dead. I call them adulpated fools and then explain she's simply relaxed and will awaken within the hour. Audience nods in approval. Get paid sweet medieval bitcoin. Get the fuck out as quick as possible. Can't come back to this town. Buy even pointier doctor stick. I am a doctor. Be me. Prestige doctor living in sweet ass doctor castle by the lake. Have collection of scary masks and sharp and beating implements. Life is good dot desk can't loot. Spending the day beating the plague out of a peasant. Peasant passed out on floor. But beating anyway because stressed. Courier arrives. Tells me I have a king's summons. Finish beating unconscious surf and wipe off blood off favorite doctor stick. Pack bags for King Fag's castle. Three week carriage ride dot parchment. Get to King Fag's big ass castle. Anticipation of lots of medieval bitcoin makes me beat the carriage driver in excitement. Throw meager sum of coins at repugnant surf driver. Go inside. King sees me. Tells me his son is ill and is getting worse by the day. Explain to him that he needn't worry because I am a professional and a doctor. Wearing my formal scary doctor mask, King Fag takes me upstairs to see his son. Oh fuck dot canvas. King Fag's son is covered in boils and vomiting blood. Ah yes, I see. I've encountered this once before. I explained to the king. I've never seen this shit in my life. Gonna fucking puke that oil painting. Think I should beat the illness out of him. Decide is probably a bad idea with several guards and king fag watching. Decide to wing it. Search through fancy doctor bag purchased with hard earned medieval bitcoin. Pull out jar of goat shit. Explain to the king that I will have to force this down his son's throat. King fag believes me. Tells me to do what I have to. Walk up to the disgusting plague ridden child. Start shoving goat shit into this fucking kid's mouth. Dad's watching, not batting an eye. Kid passes out a half hour of me force feeding him shit. Ah good, the treatment is beginning to take effect. Pretty sure this kid's gonna die. King Fag thanks me for my service and pays me precious medieval bitcoin. Get the fuck out quick. Cell house, move to a new country. My face when I hear kid died shortly after my visit. I am a doctor. Be me, illustrious respected doctor. Just fled country. Find stupid shit village in new country. On search for sweet sweet medieval bitcoin. Realize this place is full of shitty huts and covered in garbage and feces. Definitely in France. My fucking nostrils dot wood edging. Go up to filth ridden surf and demand they construct me a suitable living quarters. Simpleton just stares at me. Beat the fucking imbecile with my brand new doctor cane. Has good wrist action dot chant. 
Adelpated fool tells me that they do not know how to build such a building. Explain that he should deconstruct all of their shitty huts in the village to construct my house. Agrees on the condition that I fix their witchcraft problem. Uh, fuck that parchment. Cease beating and tell disgusting vermin to take me to the cause of said witchcraft. Brings me to a large shitty hut. Leader of village approaches me and asks if I can fix their problem. Yes, of course, dim-witted peasant. The cure for the matter of witchcraft is well within my merits as a doctor. Leader agrees to my terms and takes me into back room. I see six women seizing out on a table. What the fuck dot him? The putrid serf explains the women have been afflicted with a terrible spell. Explain that I, the very renowned and very knowledgeable doctor, will procure their cure. Find a shit ton of random stuff in the woods. Come back with a handful of random berries and sticks. Tell them to shove the sticks in their asses and force feed them the berries. My face when they actually do it. About 15 minutes later, all of them foam at the mouth and die. Whoops, that organ. Villagers accuse me of murder. Explain to them that they are ignorant fools, and the women will of course resurrect themselves in a week's time, free of witchcraft. They believe me. One million medieval kecks dot sonnet. Wait until nightfall. Still all the precious medieval bitcoin I could find. Burn the village down. Take horse and ride towards next town. I am a doctor. Be me. Recently unemployed, but still exalted doctor. Walk into new town. One fifth the amount of shit on streets. Just as many rats as last village I burned down. Definitely still in France. Stroll into town with extra pointy doctor stick in hand. Guard sees my spooky mask and awesome stick and rushes up to me. My lord doctor, my lord would like to hold an audience with thee. Lol, all right, faggot. Dot harpsichord. Follow guard fag to castle. Lord offers me room to practice my doctoring. Bag of yummy medieval bitcoin. Fuck yeah. Dot glass painting. Tell him I'd be honored to work in his shit-covered peasant city. He's delighted. In new office, huffing random herbs to get a buzz when a woman comes in complaining of a headache. Ah, disease of your festering peasant head. I know the cure for thee. Pull out sweet Dr. Trip panning device. She sits down. I start drilling into this bitch's head. Got to get the demons out. Start getting dizzy from awesome herb drugs. Pass out. Accidentally collapse on Trip panning device and push into dumb wench's head. Oh fuck dad voil de gamba. She's dead. Huff more herbs to calm down. Lord comes in. Hatch plan. Tell King I realized her demons, but because of her witchcraft, the demons possessed me to kill her. King fucking laps this shit up. Gives me even more delicious, delicious medieval Bitcoin. Stand at window later that night, huffing more herbs, watching them burn Winch's corpse. I am best doctor. Be me. Recently re-employed, well-respected doctor. New Lord provides me with the finest pointy doctor sticks and scariest doctor masks. Easily overlook feces addled hovel of a village I have to live in. In that sweet medieval bitcoin dot decorative vase. Living doctor dream. Huffing shit tons of herbs and poking my pile of dead peasants with doctor stick. Life couldn't be better dot etching. Suddenly, disgusting shit caked surf burst into office. Tells me there are armed men here to kill me. Nervously huff herbs and smack dead peasants with new and improved doctor stick. Go outside. It's men sent by the king whose son I fed goat shit to and probably killed. Well, fuck that basket weaving. Quickly run inside. Men see me and catch me. Drag me onto horse. I'm probably going to die. Dot medieval trumpet. Get back to King Fag City. King Fag is pretty pissed. Says I killed his son. Says I'll hang for it. Hatch ingenious plan. Tell King Fag that his son was a devil spawn. Explain that only servants of the devil himself would die after eating goat shit. King Fag starting to believe it. 
Fucking nice, that Gregorian chant. Tell him I had to run because the devil was on to me and staying would have endangered the kingdom. Tell him all of his children are cursed and must be purged. King Fag pleads for my forgiveness. Lol fucking idiot dot gothic architecture offers me delicious tender medieval bitcoin in recompense. Salivate dot flying buttress. Get cart full of wonderful medieval bitcoin. On way out of kingdom, see King Fag's six children strapped to burning stakes. Major 12th century keck incoming dot heart. Brushed by burning kids on the way back to doctor. House in shithole France. This cart's pretty sick. I am smartest doctor. Be me. Extremely wealthy, extremely handsome doctor. Strolling back to shithole village from King Fag's castle. Playing with skull I found on the road. Decide now that King Fag doesn't want me to hang and has significantly less children for me to murder. I can go back to my squeet doctor castle. Stroll back up to Doctor Castle. What the fuck is this shit dot mosaic? Town's lord took over Doctor Castle after I went to shit tier France. Burst through the doors. Demand I see the squabbling peasant lord who took my castle. Lord Fag comes up to tell me he owns this castle. Oh really dot ivory carving. Explain to lord that I left some essential doctoring items in the basement. Drooling imbecile lets me go take a look. Go down to the place where I hid all the bodies of peasants I cured. Smells like home. Frescal painting. Hatch plan. Place bodies and pentagram on the floor. Huff a shit ton of herbs because why not? Go upstairs and tell Lord Fag that I got everything I needed. Go back to King Fag's castle. Tell King Fag that Lord Fag is a necromancer. King Fag bursts into complete hysteria. Starts going on about how witchcraft ruined his life and took all of his children. Starts crying. Lol fag dot embroidery. Tells me through gasps of pathetic tears that he will send troops to Doctor Castle. Go back to Doctor Castle. My face when King Fag's troops are flogging Lord Fag while burning his wife and children for harboring a necromancer. Can't wait to examine the corpses dot sculpture. Breezed by Lord Fag while he cries in pain about his dumb family being dead. Go into Doctor Castle. Huff shit tons of herbs and poke pentagram peasant bodies with designated peasant poking stick. I am winningest doctor. Be me. King Doctor in fancy Doctor Castle, spending evening testing theory that boiling water cures plague. Instead makes peasants scream for 45 minutes and die. Weird dot manuscript. Remember that Christmas is right around the corner. Go down to the basement where I keep all of my peasant corpse toys. Realize there are not nearly enough corpses to do my yearly peasant corpse themed bonfire. Christmas is fucking a ruin dot Romanesque art. This will simply not do. I will not allow local peasants persistence to continue living get in between me and my delicious burning surf bonfire. Hatch plan. Grab plague rat from jar that I keep under my bed. Makes me kinda hungry looking at it. Ignore nagging hunger and proceed to lurk into the night towards the town's well. Drop yummy rat into well. Waste of a meal. Dot value droofs. Go back to bitchin' doctor castle and huff herbs. A week later entire town is knocking at my door with the plague. Yes, that Mosin art. Spend a week using Pointius Doctor Stick to beat the plague out of revolting plague-ridden plebs. Use an entire supply of leeches. Try to put leeches on some of their assholes to keep them from not dying. Some reason leeches do nothing. Weird dot gothic painting. My face when all of them fucking die. Went a bit overboard. Oh shit dot reliquary. Entire town gone. Christmas comes. Fuck it. Best bonfire yet. Huff herb in front of 100 foot tall mound of flaming surf corpses. Brings tear to eye. A Christmas miracle dot altar piece. Probably gonna have to move elsewhere because entire town is dead. Oh well. Enjoying moment. I am only doctor. Be me. Hallowed and cherished doctor. Leaving sweet ass Doctor Castle because entire town got the plague and died for some reason. On the road playing with peasant child's femur. 
the best kind of femur dot catacombs. Just about to pull out Skull and bounce it around with Child Peasant's femur when Bandit jumps out of the woods. Or you, Dr. Cunt, you gonna come with me and immediately drop Precious Skull and Peasant Child femur. And what makes you think I'm doing that, you begrimed shit-covered cretin? Shows me long shiny sword. Well shit, that illuminated manuscript. Squalid unwashed bandit fag leads me to cave in the middle of the forest. Shows me other bandit fag with arrow in his chest. Sees laying by a pile of luscious, mouth-watering medieval bitcoin. Immediately erect that codex. You go and fix him, the vile shit-drenched bandit says. This fag's definitely going to die, dot decorative metalwork. Ah, of course. I know precisely what ails your repugnant friend creature. I don't even know how this faggot is still alive. Decide to totally wing it. Your disgusting friend creature has surely not been praying to Saint Fiacri, and most certainly has a hemorrhoid. We must place a hot iron on his anus this instant. Bandit fag actually believes me. Brings me superheated metal. Brand this fucking idiot's asshole. Five minutes in, the screaming stops and he dies. Might not have been a hemorrhoid, dot lapis luzili. Bandit fag gets pissed and tries to attack me. Gets shot with an arrow through the neck. What, dot crozier? It's the king fag's troops. Saw child peasant's femur on the road. Knew it was me. Thank king fag's troops. They drag bandit fags out to place their heads on pikes to deter criminals. Yummy head on pike dot palimpsests. Grab all of delectable medieval bitcoin. Go back to road and play with skull and peasant child femur. Life is good. I am a lucky doctor. Be me. Once again, unemployed but still revered doctor. Wander into new town. Covered in cow shit and blood is running through the streets. Everyone is drunk and killing each other. Definitely in Germany. Park myself on a bench and watch scrumptious crows pick at bodies of dead peasants in the street. Found me some lunch down Lear. Just about to snag some delicious crow meat when clergyman approaches me. Notices my extra scary doctor mask. Asks me if I was the same doctor from Ghost Town with 100 foot tall pile of yummy charred corpses. Tell him I am that very same doctor, but obviously I was not responsible, because corpses just sort of do that. He of course agrees, and tells me that he wants me to share my doctoring experience with other doctors. Promises sizable portion of sweet, sweet medieval bitcoin. I'm about to fucking nut dot woodcut. Tell a hapless clergyman I'd be happy to take his money. Takes me through cow shit and body carpeted streets to church. Room filled with doctors in training with pitifully scary masks. They see my extra scary mask and know I'm a professional. Clergy fag introduces me. One doctor fag asks why town had 100 foot tall pile of corpses. Explain their education has failed them if they have not learned that corpses just sort of do that. Eat shit faggot dot ivory trinket. Clergyman tells me he would like for me to do an examination. Brings in child. Kids flailing his arms and screaming. Ah yes, it is surely his eyes, and his humors are misaligned. Start covering the disgusting child with leeches. Class applauds my choice of leeches. Leeches for every occasion dot triptych. After leeching, the boy is much calmer and pale. The treatment is working. Start digging in kid's eye with knife. Tanker around for 30 minutes cause kinda high. Afterwards turn to class and bow. Class erupts in uproarious applause. Get paid irresistible medieval bitcoin. Go back into town and eat divine savory crow meat. I am a wonderful doctor. Be me. Studious doctor professor. Lounging in my lecture hall, washing down a decadent meal of crow meat with me, with a dash of delicious window pigeon. Here knock on the door. Lunch officially ruined, Dutt Cantus Firmus. It's the local land baron. 
Fat Baron Fag comes in complaining that he's too fat and women aren't interested unless he kidnaps their family and threatens to kill them. Smells a lot like sweat and diarrhea, so makes sense. Tell him I am a prestigious, world-renowned doctor and I will cure him of his gluttonous shit body. Call me Ishmael. Tell Baron Fag that he has much too much black bile in his shitty fat body. Gotta purge it. Have Baron Fag sit down. Tell him I have to make him throw up the sinful black bile to rid him of the devil. Throw some leeches in there for good measure. Leeches fix all, dot runestone. Go into back and mix up random assortment of herbs I found while looking for tasty, tasty crow meat. Huff some herbs because I've earned it for my hard work. Feed the land well a concoction of herbs. Baron Fag seems alright. Treatment is definitely working. Job well done that visit Gothart. Suddenly, after a minute, the fat fuck falls out of his chair and slams his greasy, cheese-covered body against the floor. That's probably not a good sign that Byzantine silk. Baron's men burst into the room. See me standing over fat Baron Fag as he's seizing out and shitting himself. Completely ruined the varnish dot temp anum. My face when Baron Fag dies. My face when Baron's men grab me. My face when taken in chains outside away from the remainder of delicious crow meal. Dragged through town. Drunken townspeople stop killing each other and watch me go by. Get dragged to town dungeon. I am scared doctor. Be me. Recently incarcerated doctor. Dragged by Baron Fag's men in dungeon for low key killing the Baron. Whoops, that organum. Get thrown into cell. Smells like shit and rotting corpses. Cell strewn with blood. The sounds of torture screaming echo throughout the entire dungeon. Just like home.dorian mode. Wait six weeks. Six weeks go by. Learn all types of new flogging methods for when I get out. Plentiful rat meat literally everywhere. Every hour a severed head rolls down the hallway that I can play with. Paradise.conductus. Eventually, men come to drag me out of my cell. Drag me down the hall towards a dark room. They throw me into a chair. Torches illuminate slowly. Light casts across the room. There's King Fag and Lord Fag. You're an incoming dot motet. You're probably wondering why we're here, Doctor. King Fag says. I mean, I have a couple guesses. I managed to utter while trying not to pee. Let me help you remember. How about how you had me kill my entire family after force feeding my sickly son raw goat shit? I mean, you're still mad about that? Guard next to me punches me in the stomach. Get hard for some reason. I'll address that later, Dot Madrigal. Yes, I'm quite still mad about that, and I'll have you know I sent a letter to Our Holiness the Pope. He had not heard of any usage of goat shit in the treatment of the plague. I'm an innovator. Guard punches me in the face this time. On the precipice of nutting that organetto, your murder of my son leads me to believe that you had my other children killed to cover your tracks, and then had my family killed, and declared me a necromancer, the Lord Fag quipped. Or it was witchcraft and I'm a hero, in which case you should unchain me and give me savory medieval bitcoin, and one of those neat heads from the dungeon. King Fag nods at the guard. Guard slams me in the back of the head with the butt of his sword. Come immediately, Dot Tabber. Readjust my eyes from orgasm. See King Fag coming towards me. I would have had you killed myself, King Fag offered. But the Pope insisted you be executed in the Vatican for your crimes. I mean, I just had a couple of children burned at the stake or whatever. That's actually what they do on Christmas in Germany anyway, I retorted. Everyone in the room agreed. True, King Fag stated. However, we know it did not end there. For instance, your 100 foot pile of charred corpses? Corpses just do that. Guard smacks my face against the table in front of me. Round fucking two dot vial. Look up to see child walking in from the back corner. 
recognize her from village that I low-key gave the plague to. Well, fuck. Indeed, Doctor. She saw you burning those corpses that night. Even stated you might have been pleasuring yourself the entire time, King Fag stated. When a sexy pile of corpses is on fire, you can't exactly say no to a little hand action. Everyone in the room agreed. Regardless, you will be extradited to the Vatican. Euron has arrived, Dotrope. The guard next to me grabs my mask and rips it off my face and throws it into the fire. No! I scream from my entirely non-terrifying face. You will die, Doctor. The guards drag me through the halls away from the King Fag and Lord Fag. Scrumptious rat meat scurries by, taunting me with their deliciousness. I'm torn into the world. The moon casts against the carriage I'm to ride into Rome in. They throw me inside. I sit, completely stripped of my beloved mask, completely exposed to the world as a non-terrifying entity. Guard remarks I'm kinda good looking, actually. Insult to injury. The horses start. Off we go into the night towards my death. I don't want to die. Not before I build a 200 foot pile of charred bodies. Not before I finish my nightstand made entirely out of children's skulls. My dreams deferred. I'm a terrified doctor. Be me. Terrified doctor in the back of a prison transport carriage. Been traveling for weeks. Had to survive on a meager supply of three rat and a malnourished carrier pigeon. Could really use some crow. Amborgian chant. Traveling through Alps. Almost too cold to rub one out. Manage anyway while picturing my father beating me. That explains a lot. Sack butt. After a day it gets warmer. I look outside and see beautiful fields. Mothers beating the shit out of their kids with a rolling pin. Half of the town is asleep. All stores close because it's time for their six hour midday nap. Other half is drenched with piss and wine. Like six people fucking in the road. Definitely in Italy. Ride for another couple days. Running out of delicious pigeon dot liturgical drama. Finally arrive at Vatican. Guards drag me inside to my cell. New prison dungeon smells hardly like shit at all. Barely any scrumptious heads on floor can't even write my name in blood on the wall. This place fucking blows, dot Archivolt. The guard shut the cell door on me, spits in my exposed, non-scary face. Guard turns around. Couple minutes go by. Other guard comes in. They start fucking making out. What the fuck, dot table locks. Other guard presses guard fag against my cell. Remember hearing a while back that all Vatican guards are gay for some inexplicable reason. Convenient dot hagiography. Grab the guard keys through the prison cell door while other guards going to town on guard fag. Wait till they're done cause I'm not a dick. Unlock prison door. Grab guard's halberd. Guard turns around. Put fucking halberd right through his fucking head. Blood on face. Yummy and warm dot epic poem. Other guard fag screams. Pull Halbert out of guard's head. Cut other guard fag's head off. More yummy blood splatters into my mouth. Now I'm getting hard. Center. No time to rub one out. Realize even with added addition of blood on face, I'm not scary enough. Remember my insane sex appeal. In a building of only gay guards. No way I can fuck all of them. Not enough time. Have to kill them instead. Need to make myself scary. Look down at lovely head looking off into the distance with a permanent screen. Carve off face of tasty looking screaming severed guard head. Put it over my face. Not a doctor mask, but it'll do. Spook you once again, dot dulcimer. Trail down the hallways wearing skin face mask. Enter giant open room. Like 20 guards standing, pointing their halberds at me. Fucking shit, nut fiddle. Gotta act quick. Notice something. Look above to see giant chandelier fixture. Look to my right, see rope holding up chandelier. Bravely wonder why anyone would design it like that. Guards notice and start screaming and trying to scatter. Shrug and cut rope. Chandelier drops. 
smashes all the guards in tandem. Decadent bone splinters and internal organs fly freely through the air. Loins about to burst dot goliardic poetry. Drenched in delicious entrails and bone fragments, not nearly enough time to collect all the remains. Brush a bit into my pocket for later. Move on to the next room. Darken room. Ignite torch on the far wall. Light fills the room. Suddenly I see it. Hundreds of them. The scariest doctor mask I have ever seen. In the middle. The magnum opus of doctor masks. I have seen God. Recorder. Next to it. The pointiest doctor stick I have ever laid eyes upon. I'm so happy I might go back and roll around in guard entrails. Remove skin mask. Place Doctor Mask on. Throw away Halberd. Grab Doctor Stick. Drag one of the bodies and start beating it. Poke it. Poking action over 9,000. Sniff Stick. Taste Stick. Experience Stick. It's perfect. Dot sultry. Collect myself and take a deep breath. Time to find Pope Fag. I am Doctor Reborn. Be me. Doctor Reborn. Found the spookiest of spooky masks. Have the pointiest of pointy sticks. I'm officially the scariest doctor in the world. Therefore, best doctor in the world. Finish up poking 20 or so dead guards underneath chandelier. Incoming wood.obades. Once again, there isn't nearly enough time to set the bodies on fire and tug one out into said fire. Have to find Pope Fag. Trapes leerily towards a spiral staircase at the back of the Great Hall. Clutching my doctor stick in one hand, holding guard head by the hair in the other for company. Move my way slowly to the top of the stairs. Hear laughter coming from the end of the hall. Got you now, faggot. Cornet. Sniff head one last time. Throw it on the floor. Try to push down urge to shit pants from all that rat I ate on the way here. Manage not to poo self and make it to the door. Inside I hear the voice of an old man, burst through the door. Got you now, you repugnant pile of... What the fucking shit, that swarm? See Pope completely ass fucking naked, standing in front of three choir boys. What the fuck? The Pope screams. Choir boys scream along with the Pope. My mask is working. I was gonna come in here and just bludgeon you to death on the spot, but holy shit, I was not expecting this. I spurred at the Pope. His dick is literally looking me in the eyes. Wrinkled shaved gerbil dot bandora. You murdered countless innocent people and you have the audacity to judge me? Pope Fag screams. Shake head at disgusting vile gerbil man. Walk up. Take his feet out from under him with impressive doctor stick. Holy grail sticks dot clavichord. Old pedophile hits the floor. Snaps his fucking hip. Hear the yummy snap of bone and start involuntarily salivating. Pope Fag lies on the ground trying to edge his way away from me. My 22 guards will have your head, doctor. No fucking way, dot brooch. One trillion medieval kecks, dot carpet page. See halfway sturdy rope behind me. Grab rope. Tie improvised noose knot I learned while testing if, if hanging cured the plague. Sorta of did, sorta of didn't. That'll do. You'll burn in hell for this, you heathen scum. Get tired of listening to shriveled gerbil pedophile man. Throw noose around support beam. No! No! I won't let you! No! He yelps. Put it around his writhing neck and tighten while he struggles to get away. Grab stick and whack him in the head. A stick for every occasion, that vellum. Pope fag quiets down substantially. Raise Pope Fag up by neck. Tie end of rope to wall fixture. Shitty noose not, so should take a while to kill him. Tell kids I'll be right back. Take monster shit in the Pope's bed. Lol, eat shit, faggot. That is Nick Pottery. Go downstairs after exhausting dump. Go into room of doctor stuff. Grab three doctor sticks. Go back upstairs. Pope Fag woke up and is choking slowly. Hand out doctor sticks to kids. Have at it, kids. Choir boys smile ear to ear. We all start beating the shit out of the choking Pope. Feles compliano sparami. That barbarian art. Pope struggling and gurgling, trying to reach for the rope to free himself. Choir boy sees this. 
and smacks his wrist repeatedly. Snap like a fucking twig. Beat him mercilessly for 20 minutes. Blood and bone fragments flying across the room like party confetti. Pope swinging back and forth, silently screaming, eyes rolling into back of head. Kids are using tremendous beating form. A tear comes to my eye. Fatherly love dot carved stone. Finally, the Pope chokes to death. Or lost too much blood. Doesn't matter, still dead. Beat for another 10 minutes. Teach kids how to properly beat the plague out of a peasant. We all clean the Pope off of our respected doctor beating implements. Kids tell me when they grow up they want to be a doctor. Don't tell them that would make them competition and I'd have to drain them of all their blood. Let them dream dot image stone. Bid the children farewell. Walk downstairs. Grab a guard tibia for the road. Waltz out of the Vatican. Dawn is slowly breaking. Wander into Rome. Sit by town's well and stare at the sunrise. See sickly rat wandering by. Fuck it, why not, dot crusader art. Grab rat and snap its neck. Toss it into the well. I'll be back for my 200 foot pile. I say to myself as the sun peaks above the horizon. Till then, I'm going to find king fag and lord fag. Then I'm going to remove their skin. I'm coming. I am Revenge Doctor. Be me, Doctor on Warpath, strolling through city upon city. Everyone cowering in fear because my super spooky mask. My medical prowess is off the fucking charts. Everyone gets leeches. Crumhorn, traveling through Austria on the way back to Lord Fag and King Fag. First one on agenda is Lord Fag. Figure the local peasants will know where to find him. Go up to two peasants, both participating in a normal Austrian activity of smashing the other one to death with a large stone. Approach the one on top smashing the other's brain in. See dirt soaked with brain matter and blood. Try not to come, dot flagellate. Excuse me, detestable shit drenched peasant. Peasant drops rock and looks at me. He climbs off of other, much deader peasant, and greets me with a series of grunts. My German is a bit rusty. I grunt back to acknowledge his repugnant cultural norms. He takes off pants and starts masturbating. God fucking damn it, dot out. Try to ignore it and ask him if he knows where the Lord Fag is. He keeps on chugging away at his little guy and stares into the sun. Ask again. Grunt softly and continue softly stroking. Get tired of watching him pump himself like the local butter churn. Start beating him with new and improved doctor beating stick. Start screeching and grunting while masturbating. Eventually he puts his hands up and grunts. As if to address my query, I stop beating him. He grunts frantically and points with his non-pumping hand to his sign behind me. That's commitment, dot Satol. Turn around and see sign pointing towards my old town with fancy doctor castle. No fucking way, dot a doof. I thank the loathsome peasant creature for his time. He nuts and immediately goes back to beating a very clearly dead man with a large stone. Fucking Austrians, dot Petrarch and love poem. Spend next three days walking towards doctor castle. Finally arrive in the dead of night. I see 100 foot tall pile of bodies still very much there. More like 15 foot pile of ash and bone now. Still yummy dot Roman ornament. Begins to rain. Lightning flash. Thunder booms in the background. I don't know how my mask could get any scarier. I wander up to the doors of my beloved castle. Creak open door. I see Lord Fag sitting in front of the fire. He seems to be whispering. Peek around the corner, being stealthy as shit. See face in fire. It's also whispering. What the fuck, that Ovidian story? He's legitimately a fucking necromancer. I come around corner. I knew all along, faggot. Lord Fag turns around. The fire snuffs itself out and screeches. How are you still alive? Lord Fag bellows. Because Vatican guards are homosexuals and the Pope is a creepy gerbil pedophile man. 
I reply. What? Never mind. The important thing is I knew you were a necromancer all along. That's why I had your entire family burned alive. I explain triumphantly. No fucking way. You just wanted to reacquire this fucking castle. You're a fucking animal. Um, no. Lord Fag clicks his tongue at me. Doesn't matter, cause now you're going to burn, Doctor. Fire reignites suddenly and starts screaming in Latin. Lord Fag runs at me and pushes me towards the fire. I can feel the Latin screaming demon fire licking at the back of my awesome doctor cape. This time I'm finishing the job. Get pushed closer. Ass is getting hot. Remember, leeches in pocket. Dig through pocket. Fling leeches into this faggot's face. Start screaming and trying to pry the leeches off of his shitty little face. Leeches for every occasion, that portative organ. Grab him by the shirt collar. Hurl him towards the fire. He falls in. Start screaming in pain on account of being on fire. The flames intensify and turn bright shade of green. The fire starts going fucking nuts. Starts yelling feverishly. Something about how the Jews controlled the banks. Weird dot glockenspiel. Whole house starts shaking. I'm about to fucking piss myself dot bumbleum. Demon's fire voice echoes throughout the halls of bitch and doctor castle. Finally, the rumbling subsides. The Latin fades away. Final whisper. Doctor. Feel hot urine dripping down leg. Shakily pry brick out of wall. Pull out stash of herbs. Huff the shit out of them. Poke burnt corpse of Lord Fag with doctor stick. Poking fixes everything. Timbrel. Grab remaining leeches from floor. Get the fuck out quick, cause place is fucking haunted. Wander out into the rain. Do my best to wash urine out of cloak. Compose myself and march towards King Fag's castle. I am still revenge, doctor. Be me. Fully outfitted doctor on super cool mission. Finally arrive at King Fag's castle around midnight. Sneak around stealthy as shit through the woods. Peek around the corner of a towering oak. See one of King Fag's guards taking a dump into a raspberry bush. Got you now, shitfag.humanism. Grab big ass rock on the ground next to me. Hold it above my head and creep towards shitting guard. Get up close. Slam him as hard as I can in the fucking head. Blood spurts up. Guard falls over, ass in air. Releases bowels immediately. Shits all over my shoes and cloak. God fucking damn it, Dot Chanson. Kick guard repeatedly to get shit off shoes. Smells like chicken, mead, and shit. Admit defeat after kicking corpse for 15 minutes. Look up to see guard posted outside King Fag's castle. Look down and see dead shitting guard's bow and two arrows. Call me Spooky Robin Hood. Dot triadic Harmony. Huff a shit ton of herbs to steady nerves. Grab bow. Knock one of the arrows. Draw string back and aim at guard fag. Herb starts kicking in. Get dizzy and let bow sink down. Release arrow. Flies gracefully through the air. Slams guard fag in the balls. What the fuck have I done dot magnificent. Guard starts screaming and clutching his tattered balls. I immediately vomit. Why? I hear him scream. Shakily raise bow and try to finish job. Let another fly. Hits him slightly higher in the dick. Vomit again on dead guard. Please, please kill me. Ah! He bellows into the misty night. Totally out of arrows. Guard fag is howling at the top of his lungs. Blood everywhere. I grab dead guard's sword from its sheath. Walk shakily towards screaming. Now eunuch guard fag. Apologize profusely as I sink the sword into his neck. Kick him into moat. Vomit once more into said moat. Gotta stop getting high all the time. Dot ballad. Wipe vomit from lips and mask. Hear someone coming. See guards standing in doorway in the corner of my eye. Instinct kicks in. Throw sword. Smashes guard in the dick. Dry heave. All out of vomit. Rondo. Pull sword out of his genitals. 
apologize profusely once more, slice his throat and kick him into the moat. Make a mental note that this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I recompose myself and walk inside. Place is pitch black. No candles, no more guards. Weird viral lies. Lurk slowly into Great Hall. Feel stone sink in beneath my feet. Hearth ignites in a green flame. Floor opens up. I fall in. I land on a pile of dead guards. All of them have pentagrams carved into their foreheads. What the actual shit that marry in him? I look upward to see King Fag clapping. Glad you could make it, Doctor. I'm going to guess you, you knew I was coming. Indeed, and you've played your part beautifully. What? wait, what's that smell? Um, nothing. Did you step in shit? Er, no, that's my cologne. I am 110% sure of that shit. Poke one of the corpses with a doctor stick anxiously. So you're a fucking necromancer. I fire at him finally. Something to that effect. Now I have to commend you on killing the Pope. You did your job wonderfully. So you wanted me to kill that gerbil pedophile man. For what purpose? Well, you exhausted our supply of sacrifices with your self-indulgent corpse bonfire, and seeing as the cope is indisposed, we now have a much larger set of sacrifices to ourselves. Oh fuck Rome.foburban. Indeed, that's my 200 foot pile of corpses, you pile of horse shit. Was, Doctor. It was. Now it's ours. But I do want to thank you for finding it. King Fag reaches behind him and flips a switch. Hear a series of clicks. Walls start moving inward. Hear flame crackle in the great hall above. Doctor, immediately urinate dot is ortham. This cloak is definitely ruined. Goodbye, Doctor, King Fag says. King Fag leaves. Walls closing in. The sound of the guard corpse as bone snapping crackles in my ear. Try to ignore my immediate erection. Look for a way out. Walls getting closer. Within five feet. Hold my doctor stick horizontally. Walls close in. Stick wedges the walls to a stop. Hop on stick. Leap upward. Stick snaps. Walls come violently short. Blood and bones spray from in between the two walls. My stick, Dot Cannon. Grab hunk of flesh and sniff it to ease the emotional turmoil. Hear fire snuff itself out behind me. Limit my stick for another 30 minutes. Huff shitloads of herbs. Walk outside. I will have my 200 foot pile, you fucking faggot. I am a really fucking angry doctor. Be me. Piss and shit drenched doctor. Still have top tier doctor mask. Rip fancy doctor stick. Watch sunrise over the field ahead. Look inside trusty doctor bag to see how much tender appetizing succulent medieval bitcoin I have left. See only a few meager coins. Stupid fucking lord fag spent all of the medieval bitcoin I left underneath my special pile of children's bones in Doctor Castle. Also stole all of my children's bones. Shit hiding spot dot bronze sculpture. See village up ahead. Not in shit tier France, so should be plenty of juicy medieval bitcoin to spare. Waddle my soggy shit covered body to the village. I wander into the town square. Villagers see my super scary doctor mask and know I'm definitely a professional. My lord doctor, our prayers are answered. One of the dirt and disease riddled vermin spits at me. Show me the money faggot, that music our servitor. Yes, slow and moronic creature. I am here to stamp out the disease that ail you. Everyone gathers. Point out how scary my mask is. Several people ask why I smell like the inside of a morbidly obese Austrian's asshole. Explain to the revolting masses that it is simply a way to keep the diseases away. Explain they are clearly inbred imbeciles if they didn't know that before. They all gawk in awe of my towering medical abilities. They lead me into the town hall. The village leader promises me plentiful, 
Nectarous medieval Bitcoin if I do a clinic for the town's sick. Gladly accept dumb faggot's money. The village leader calls the rest of the hideous masses to the town hall. A line forms out the door. A woman comes in with a baby. My lord, doctor, it's my baby. He's cold, my lord. And he hasn't moved in days. This is the deadest baby I've seen since I built a statue of myself made entirely of dead babies. Yummy dead baby monody. Ignore persisting hunger and give my diagnosis. Ah yes, your child's blood is filled with cold air and simply needs to be warmed. Grab clearly dead surf baby and throw it into the fire. Mother screams. Accuses me of murdering an already very clearly dead and exquisitely delicious baby. Tell village leaders, men, her scream is clearly indicative of witchcraft. Crowd screams and demands her death. Completely forgot I just fried a baby. The men immediately take her outside. No, no, please! Behead her on the chopping block. Head rolls towards doorway. Immediately starts salivating. Everyone claps for my heroism. I'll grab the head later, Dr. Concertado. All praise the good doctor for saving us from the vile witch, an old man yells. Crowd cheers. Look back, baby's not quite medium rare yet. Can't wait, that Irish harp. Next. I scream triumphantly. Man walks up to me, whispers into my ear that he has an erection and it won't go away. Ha! Ah, I know just the cure for such a matter. I whisper back. Break leg off of chair. Improvise doctor stick dot slide trumpet. Ask him to lay down. Slam him in the dick several times. He vomits off the side of the table. Passes out. Rolls off the table in puddle of blood and vomit. Village leader's men drag him out. He is cured! Stupid fucking morons are loving it. Clapping continues in a feverish display of gratitude. Basking in surf praise. I'm fucking back, dot vihuela. Line up surfs for multi-surf plague beating. Surf beating assembly line, dot Agnes Day. Being consciousness out of 12 peasants at once. Some of them didn't even have the plague. Laughing like small child. Give out leeches like the Pope gives children night terrors. Whip out good old trip panning device. Gonna dig into some fucking skulls. Release the demons from hysterical women's head who was found attempting to learn to read. Now she doesn't know how to speak. I've done it, Tom Brady of Medicine. Transverse flute. Hours of doctoring fly by. Leeches and beatings fly through the air like butterflies in the midst of a spring afternoon. Finally, get through the whole line. Village leaders men drag away patients that, for some reason, died of trauma to the head or blood loss. No idea what happened, Doc Kyrie. Village leader commends me on my spectacular doctoring. Hands me pile of enticing, exquisite, divine medieval bitcoin. Shove it in doctor bag. Town's cleric comes out to congratulate me. See he is in similar cloak to mine, one that is not covered in shit and piss. Tell him I would simply be remiss if I didn't give him my cloak to ward away disease. He is a man of the lord after all. Explain we should switch cloaks so he can avoid violent death of the plague and continue spreading the Lord's good word. We switch cloaks. He thanks me profusely. Whatever shithead lol dot Gloria waddles away in my crusty shit caked and piss drenched cloak. I strut off in new not shit covered cloak. Wander outside. See head on ground of dead mother. Lick lips. Look around. No one's watching throw head in bag. Stroll into the setting sun. Bag of tender medieval bitcoin and delicious head. I am ready to face that king fuck. I am doctor destined for greatness. Be me. 
Doctor no longer soaked to the bone with his own feces and urine. Strolling my way to Italy to kill that devil-worshipping faggot the king. Just got through Alps. Nuts clenched into my body. Practically begging to be warmed by a delicious corpse fire. Finally arrive in the beautiful northern Italian countryside. Sniffing my exquisite freshly cut head from the village before. My dick's a goddamn boulder dot, hallelujah. Thinking about ducking into the next town's inn and fucking the head quick before heading to Rome. Come over hillside. Town's dead quiet. No mothers beating their children. No fathers yelling in Italian while beating their wives in front of their children while the wives beat their children. The smell of piss and wine remains, only a stale far off memory of its former glory. Literally zero people fucking in the street. Nobody yelling at the top of their lungs in a restaurant. Not one person screaming their Italian at passers-by despite them not asking. No way this is Italy, Dot Pilaster. Wander into the town. The dull hum of silence. Weird, Dot Aedicules. Look high and low. Look in the usual places people hide bodies. Nothing. Nobody left. Wander into town's doctor office. Clearly an amateur. Barely any charred human remains. Just one baby skull. Exactly one dead bat submerged in an unidentifiable green liquid. Lol loser dot basilica. See amateur doctor stick. Fuck it dot lentil. Take stick. Walk outside with shit to your stick. Decide it'd be boring to fuck head with no one around. What's the point with that audience? No thrill. Decide it's a good enough time to set a fire. Get the town prepared. Dump a shit ton of flammable shit everywhere. Light a torch. Throw it. Town ignites. Watch flame lick at houses. Realize ten minutes in. It's way less fun without screams of terror. No police to spare their children? No begging to make the pain stop? Literally zero people yelping in agony and begging me to kill them? Fucking boring, that printing press. <sighs> Bat my little guy around a bit and get him going. Get unenthusiastic wood. Not gonna waste a fire. Access my normal spank bank. Imagine father screaming for help in that dungeon I left him in. Pyronut.baptistry. Put my dick back into my cloak. Saunter out of the burning town. Spend the next couple of days wandering toward Rome. Seeing how far I can throw the head. It's starting to smell and fall apart. Can't fuck a head when it's rotting away. Chuck it and knock down a cardinal's nest. Number one draft pick dot Tempietto. Climb up ridge overlooking Rome. Look over. See Rome. Entirely engulfed in a black storm cloud. Can see lightning flashing echoing from deep within the storm. Now fucking what dot facade? Move my way toward the storm. Wind is howling. Cloud moving in vicious spiral. Arrive in the city. I can't see anyone. Town is darker than my on-the-go charred toddler. Navigate my way through maze of buildings eclipsed in shadow. See town square up ahead. Holy fucking shit dot in tabulature. Thousands upon thousands of peasants standing in a perfect circle around the square. Enough for a 1,000 foot pile. Dull hum radiating in the background. Wonder up to one of the peasants. He's staring blankly into the center of the storm right above. Getting spooky, dot corn ice. Gotta try something. Take out doctor knife. Slice peasant's throat. Stands there like nothing happened while blood pours out of his neck. Too spooky to enjoy blood waterfall. Also no fun if he's not clawing at the wound and mouthing the word help. This is probably not a good thing, dot coffered ceiling. He eventually collapses. Nobody looks over to see a fairly clearly dead man in a pool of his own blood. They all keep staring into the eye of the storm. 
something fucky, not pilasters. Turn around to walk into center of the circle to get better look. Hear flame ignite behind me. Doctor. Try to turn around. Feel large objects strike the back of my head. Vision goes dark. I am unconscious, doctor. Be me. Doctor waking up in a white expanse that I somehow know is infinite. Feel the life force of the universe swirling around me. Experience all of humanity, past, present, and future. All simultaneously marching in step towards something far more important. And far more intangible than I have words to adequately describe. Lol, gay and dumb, dot Tuscan column. A bright light appears in the corner of my eye. A blaring procession of trumpets resounds in a beautiful whirlwind sonority. So inexplicably gorgeous, I start crying. The light flickers between a myriad of colors I have never experienced, all dancing before me in a monumental display of grace and inexpressible benevolence. A figure appears. He emerges from the tumultuous array of color and sound. The trumpets conclude on a beautiful plagal cadence. The colors burst joyously in a feverish tempest and then abruptly into non-existence. I see him. He's like 5'4", unshaven, sorta of hunched. Wearing a white robe splotched in brown grease and distinctive liquor stains. His wings are sort of matted and also covered with grease and bits of what looks like sausage. His beard has extraordinary amounts of vomit in it. He walks out and looks at me, eyes crusty and bloodshot. He gives an audible sigh. Rubs his beard and sniffs loudly. Snot rolls out of his black head riddled nose and into his mustache. Fuck, I'm hungover. You the doctor? The disheveled angel asks. Um, God? I ask, hopefully. The angel laughs and sniffs the snot back into his nose. Fuck no, he chuckles. Do you think God would grace you with his presence? I'm dumb, and the mere fact that you're seeing this right now is purely circumstantial. Wait, like the Angel Thomas or... Nope, just Tom. Are you fucking serious, Dot Malding? So, I'm not dead. No, no. If you were dead, you'd be in hell. You're an absolutely terrible person. Wow. You kill thousands of people and burn their corpses. Possibly rub a couple out to said corpses as well. And now you're a bad person? When did morality raise the bar so high? Somewhere around the beginning of time. Look, my time is valuable here, so let's just speed this up. Wow, alright faggot, dot in tabulature. He pulls out a scroll. Puts on glasses with only one of the lenses still intact. Realize they sent me the fucking D-team. He scratches his nuts and reads the scroll. Repulsive and most vile doctor. It has been decided that an act of heroism will expunge the bulk of your sins from the long list of heinous crimes. Blah blah blah. You'll still be in hell, but just a milder form of it. Better than you deserve. Blah blah blah. You get it, right? Jesus fucking Christ, who made you an angel? Look, man, do you accept or not? I have better shit to do. Tom takes out a vial of dark liquor from his back pocket and pours it down his throat. Ah, fuck, that burns good. Fucking hell. What is it you want me to do here? Angel snaps his finger and a leather-bound chair appears crookedly behind him. He falls into it and rubs his forehead. Okay, um, yeah, so we need you to kill, a uh, King and stop that, um ritual thing from going on ah my head do you hear that ringing and my reward for doing this is not being tortured as much in hell he dry heaves softly yeah um at about it can you believe this shit dot decorative keystone you're seriously offering a person who gets harder than the Pope and the medieval equivalent of a Chuck E. Cheese to torture and pain 
less torture and pain as a reward. Who fucking dreamt this shit up? Angel dry heaves louder this time and hunches over his l leg in the chair. Alright, what do you want? For starters, I want whatever amount of succulent medieval bitcoin it takes so that I physically swim in it. Are you? Whatever, man, sure. And? Tom groans loudly and pulls out another vial. And I would like a castle in a town with plenty of plague-ridden peasants, so I can have regularly scheduled peasant bonfires every Christmas. And I mean every Christmas. And of course, leeches. Lots of leeches. Everyone loves leeches. Benedictus. Angel looks at me with abject disgust. You're a pretty fucked up asshole. Yes, I know. Angel rolls his eyes and slouches back into his chair. Ugh, fuck it. You're going to hell either way. Banking on it, faggot. Then fine, you got it. The angel gets up. Hey, one last thing. He slouches into feet and rubs his face viscously. What? Have you guys been saying my name through some spooky green fire thing that seems to only arrive when I'm in danger, like some guardian angel shit? No. Why the fuck would we do that? You're an evil pile of human garbage who deserves nothing but pure torment and pain. Aw, oh, you're just saying that. Fuck off. The angel rips open a portal, he places one hand in, suddenly vomits off to the side. There's a bit of blood in it. Oh no, not again. See urine build up around his feet. He wipes his mouth with his sleeve, shudders a bit, then stumbles through the portal. The trumpets sound once more. The colors reappear in triumphant fervor. The rift slams closed. The trumpets cease. The color dissolves. All that is left is a pile of vomit and a chair. He has a problem, Doc Quine. All of it disappears. I open my eyes to a swirling black storm overhead. Feel the back of my head matted with blood. I see King standing with his arms toward the eye of the storm. Time to die, faggot. I am a doctor with a purpose. Be me. Scariest doctor ever to grace this wretched shit varnished planet. About to save the world. Prop myself up to look at smug king fag. Stupid faggot is beckoning dark forces beyond mortal comprehension. Lol, cuck dot cupola. I lift myself up. King fag notices and lowers his arms. Oh good, you're not dead. He remarks like the cuck he is. Start feeling pretty bold. I'm gonna shove so many leeches in your dick hole that generation after generation of songwriters will dedicate entire song cycles to how many leeches I shoved in your dick hole, I reply heroically. Instantly get rock fucking hard thinking about leech filled king fag dick. King notices my erection. Did you just get wood thinking about my dick full of leeches? Um, no. He's on to me, dot baptistry. King Fag looks at me concerned. I'm genuinely worried about what happened to you to make you like this. Think about childhood. Picture father standing naked in front of the fire holding hot iron, swinging it back and forth. Turns around wearing a leather mask with just a hole for the mouth. A skull painted decoratively on the front. He breathes in deeply and reaches towards the sky. The fire licks behind him. I can make out numerous tattoos methodically etched across his entire body. In the middle is the Latin word for pain. He looks at me. Today you'll learn the meaning of the word hot, I hear him say. Clutch burn scar on the back of my ass. Involuntarily ejaculate. Readjust eyes from orgasm. Shake head violently. Yeah, honestly, me too. I reply finally. Emotional baggage, that gothic rib. Regardless, doctor, we've come to an impasse. How do you figure that, faggot? First off, shut the fuck up. 
second, I figured considering you continue to prove your ability to stay alive and it simply won't work for my plane if you insist on trying to curtail it. By curtail you, of course, mean that before I kill you, you're gonna have so many leeches in your dickhole that various artists around the world will depict your genitals being so completely and totally full of leeches that it's immediately certified as the eighth wonder of the world. Getting a tickle in by pickle.terracotta. I swear to fucking god, if you get a boner again. Too late, that Coliseum. Ew. God fucking damn it. And no, not that. I of course mean your insistence to ruin my plans to release the Dark Lord from his eternal prison and unleash him into this mortal plane. Sounds kinda gay. King Fag rubs his face viscously. Look, I have an offer for you, Doctor. Is it the same exact amount of leeches I'll need to completely fill your cock to the brim? No. I want you to join me. Help me in the Almighty Dark One take over this wretched plane of existence. This world is dying, Doctor, and all because of the inadequacy of a selfish and vile god. The Dark One promises prosperity, promises the end to the eternal suffering of all of humanity, our release from the mortal plane. So he's just going to kill everyone. King Fag grumbles. I mean, that's kind of reductive, but... Right, he's just gonna kill everyone. I mean, yeah, but fuck you. There's way more to it than that. Like so many levels of understanding are required to acquiesce his plan, that it would take a million lifetimes just to grasp the mere concept. Well, lucky for you, you don't have to wait that long. I'll break it down for you. He's just gonna kill everybody. Suck on that shit, cuck dot tabernacle. My offer, Doctor, is I can guarantee you eternal life and the ultimate corpse bonfire. The entirety of humanity. All burning in a 200 million foot pile. A towering mass of burning bodies. All for you. The pile to end all piles, Dagrodo. Mal starts fucking frothing in excitement. My dick has never been harder. For some reason my ass gets moist. But wait. A thought occurs. What about my medieval Bitcoin? Sweet, succulent, exalted medieval Bitcoin. Ah, uh, in this new world, Doctor, there will be no need for a currency of any kind. The world is ours for the taking. Wait, so... Tasty, exuberant, and scrumptiously decadent medieval Bitcoin will be worthless. King Fag looks at me confused. I mean, yes? The thought of my beloved medieval Bitcoin being as worthwhile as an already decomposed toddler in the town corpse pile sickened me to my core. And hold on. After this corpse pile, where will we get corpses to make new bonfires? Where will my corpses come from? My Christmas bonfires that require a consistent supply of fresh surf corpses. I mean... No one will be left, so I suppose there will be no corpses left. I seethed with rage. The thought of a world without corpses to burn, the mere implication of the devaluing of my precious medieval Bitcoin, all of it made me tremble with pure anger. The angel Tom promised me all the delicious medieval Bitcoin I could ever want. All the corpses I could ever burn. A bitchin' ass Dr. Castle, and an afterlife of sexy ass torture. All of which makes my loins froth with love juice. With that in mind, I have to refuse your offer. Wait, like Thomas, or... Huh, what? The angel's name. Was Thomas, or... Um, no, just Tom. We sat in silence for a moment, recognizing how fucking stupid that name is for an angel. Unfortunate, Doctor. I really hoped you'd come around, but instead you'll have to die along with the others. Let's fucking go, fag.paired column. 
I notice a broken piece of the cobblestone street to my right. Extra sharp. Grab it and throw it at King Fag. King dodges. Slams one of the brainwashed peasants right in the throat. Peasant's throat erupts in a beautiful fountain of red. King looks back in terror. Damn it, I need them alive. The king realizes what he just divulged. His eyes widen. I double back and run towards the circle of peasants. He chases after me. In the crowd I notice a dagger broken in half. Still sharp. Stabby stab dot consul bracket. Put dagger through random peasant's neck. Blood sprays on my mask. Pull it out and stab another one behind me. Yummy blood fountain dot pediment. King rushes up and grabs my arm. Throws me to the ground and kicks the dagger away from me. He throws a punch down at my head. I quickly move my head out of the way. His fist cracks against the cobblestone. He screams in pain. I slam my foot into his nuts. Call me the nutcracker dot triumphal arc. He dry heaves and rolls over onto his side. I scamper up and rush toward the knife sitting about 20 feet away next to a group of peasants. King Fag reaches up and grabs my leg and tries to pull me down. Struggle free of his grasp and slam him in the face with my boot several times. Blood spurts out of his nose and he collapses in a ball on the ground. I run up and grab the blade and slice an artery in a peasant's leg. I turn and catch another one in the heart. Blade breaks off in his ribs. Fuck that Roman motif. See King Fag running at me in the corner of my eye. He tackles me. We roll into the middle of the town square. I wrap my legs around him and flip him onto his back. Start wailing on his face with my fist. Like my father always said, my fist will teach your fleshy face mask the lesson of insurmountable suffering. To release yourself from this bondage of pain, you must relinquish your body to me. We both stop and look at each other. Whoa, holy shit, he says to me. Yeah, um, did that happen a lot or... Honestly, I don't really like talking about it. Silence. Suddenly he kicks me in the nuts. Here comes the vomit, dot temple facade. He runs toward the center of the circle. The solstice is nigh. The clock strikes midnight. I look through tears to see a tremendous hellgate slowly phasing into existence. Yes, yes, the king screams in joy. I roll onto my knees and groan from testicle pain. Doctor. Flames echo behind me. Who? Who are you? Not important now. You must stop him. Your corpse bonfire is within your grasp. I rise to my feet and wipe the vomit from my mask. I need something to kill this fucking cuck with. The crackle of the fire intensifies. Out of the flame comes a sharp, extra pointy, extremely lethal doctor stick. It's so beautiful dot ornament print. Wipe tears from my eyes and grab the stick. Turn to King Fag, standing before an almost formed Hellgate. I have brought you all 20,000 sacrifices that you require, my lord. I am your humble servant. Wait one second, dot trefoil. Look around. Do some quick peasant math. Based on the size of the circle, the alignment of the stars, the amount per row, and the size of my erection, there are exactly 20,234 repugnant serfs. Don't have much time. Have to commit at least 235 murders. Wayne Gretzky of Murder. Escrafito. Start slashing through peasants with amazing doctor stick. Moving my way through row after row of serfs. Blood streaming through the air like party streamers. New and improved peasant beating stick cutting through masses like a knife through a newborn skull. King notices. No, no, 
I will not let you undo what I have worked so hard to achieve. King rushes towards me. I turn to him. He leaps at me. I kneel down and angle the stick upward. He puts his hand up to protect his face. Stick goes through hands. Continues into his neck. Best stick ever, 1236 AD. Trap Gevel. He lays propped up by the stick, which is all the way through his hands and neck. His eyes writhing in his face as he grasps desperately for air. Blood lurches from his neck and hands. I wander over. He watches helplessly as I take off his pants. I pull out a handful of leeches. Leeches for every occasion that Flemish strap work. He starts gasping and trying to wiggle away. Dick hole time dot crenellations. See him mouth the word please and don't. Lol cuck dot turret. I shove his dick full of leeches. He gurgles and wiggles in pain. His dick's kinda small so it's hard to get him in there. Managed to get about 10 in there. It'll have to do, dot platter -esque. King bleeds out. Remove stick from his neck. Leave him rotting with a bunch of leeches in his cock. Look to see Hellgate is fully formed. Door creaks open. Hear the bellows of the dead echo from within the gate. Lightning crackles in a tumultuous fanfare. Hear the thunderous cry of Satan himself. The clashing of gigantic chains beats against the back of the doors of the gate. Not much time. Turn back towards circle of disgusting peasants. Start slicing through serfs. Endless spray of delicious artery juice flies freely through the air. Door is opening wider. Fuck 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 dot candelabra motif. Increase speed. Maximum level of peasant killing achieved. Never has the world seen such virtuistic peasant themed murder. I am a god. Get through 220 vile serfs. 15 left. Satan bursts through the gate. Can see his massive dong swinging back and forth like the world's most gigantic cock themed pendulum. Satan's got a nice dick dot portal. The chains that hold him are slowly cracking. Hear him scream into the night. See him take a shit that lands on a small church and immediately lights on fire. Swing through five more serfs. Hear him roar into the air as the chain holding his left arm snaps and flies into a nearby bell tower. Urine has arrived at eclecticism. He reaches out and tries to grab me. Duck into the crowd. The storm overhead is whirling into a frenzy. Reality is starting to unfold at the seams. The fabric of existence is beginning to tear apart. I can make out through the eye of the storm that the sky has turned crimson. The air reeks of death. My dick couldn't get any harder. Slice through the final couple surfs. Hear a disembodied bell chiming. Do a quick peasant number survey, down to 19,999. Hear Satan bellow in agony. The chains tighten and pull him backward. He falls onto his stomach. He screams as he drags his claws through the ground. He tears massive holes in the cobblestone street, throwing them violently into the air, killing at least 50 people. The chains rip him from the earth. They fling him backward into hell. The doors slam. The sounds of screams cease. The smell of death is replaced with the smell of just regular old dead peasants. The clouds dissolve. The starry night sky comes into view. A beautiful winter's night. The remaining 19,949 peasants awaken. They wander around in confusion, screaming in agony looking at the yummy bodies of their friends. Hear a couple of them coughing with the plague. I'll be back for my pile, dot palazzo. In the confusion, I drag one of the bodies away. Need some much deserved relaxation time. 
have sex with it for three hours in the back of an alley. A well-deserved nut dot transept arm. Fall asleep on top of body. I awaken sometime later covered in juicy rats and garbage. I remove all the fingers of the corpse to make a necklace with and wander out into the street. The sunrise is peeking over the Roman skyline. I readjust my cloak and wander through the streets and out of Rome. Steal a horse and ride away. I arrive in shit to your France on Christmas morning. The locals peer out of their windows to see their beloved doctor has returned. They all run to me. The Lord's servant comes out singing my praise. Ah, dearest doctor, we knew you'd come back. Sure, whatever fag, not chancel. Look around for a minute. Wait, where's the Lord? The Lord's servant lowers his head. Ah, well, you see, the Lord passed earlier this month. Incidentally, he's left you with the entirety of the castle. I'm so gonna cream that hemispherical dome. Wait, this is my castle now. Indeed, Doctor, it is. All yours as was the Lord's will. Look around at the townspeople. Wait, where are most of the townspeople? I ask, noticing a distinct lack of dirt and shit-drenched peasants. Ah, I'm sorry to say we had a terrible case of the plague this week. Many have died. I can feel myself salivating. How... How many? Enough. I'm afraid that they created a 300-foot pile of their bodies on the outskirts of town. Express train in that ville that octagonal drum. Let's not dwell on that business. I have something to show you. Follow Lord Servant to my old chambers. He opens the door. We don't know who, but someone left you something spectacular. I peer inside. Christmas. It's a mountain of succulent, delicious, tender, exuberant, wonderful, tempestuous, fantastical, medieval Bitcoin. Tom, I whisper with a tear in my eye. The greatest Christmas ever, dot tasset. I roll in it. I smell it. I love it. I can fucking swim in it. I'm so fucking happy I can't even contain my cum. The Lord's servant smiles, glad to have you back, doctor. I roll around like a pig in shit, or a doctor in a bunch of Vatican guard entrails. That night I ate the finest rat meat money could buy. There was plenty crow meat to go with the rat meat. I celebrated in a slew of fresh children's bones. I inhaled herb. I lived like the king doctor I am. I wandered out into the Christmas night. I traipsed my way to the decadent pile of peasant bodies. High as a fucking kite. I drenched the mound of corpses with flammable liquid. My face when the 300 foot pile burns like a beacon on Christmas joy in the midst of the cold winter's night. I've never been happier. It's so big it gives me several opportunities to nut into the fire. It's practically beckoning me, dot Tempiero. After the ninth nut, I get sleepy. I go back to my quarters. I look out the window at my smoldering heap of corpses, still randomly igniting into isolated fires. See the smoke plumes moving towards the village. The smell wafts its way into my room. I smile and crawl into bed. In a bed of delicious medieval Bitcoin I sleep. The smell of charred bodies fill my nostrils. Christmas is here. Filled with joy I begin to fall asleep. Outside it begins to snow. The sound of peasants screaming in terror at my corpse fire echoes in the night. Sobbing and pleadings to God ring in my ear like a beautiful Christmas hymn. 
I hear the fire crackle sharply. Finally, I sleep. I am the happiest doctor in the entire world. Doctor.